Alright guys, the weather's nice right now for a second. The sun's out, the wind's died down, and I just wanted to do a review of this Windrider woman's snowsuit. Um, the company sent it to me to wear, try out, and give a review. So here we go. First, I want to go over all the pockets it has. Um, we got a pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pockets here. I also got a pocket here. I got my pockets here. Oh, goodness. And then I have a pocket here. And I have a pocket here. I don't think there's any more hidden pockets, but great storage options. It's just lots of little areas to hang things from. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is the inside of the pockets have felt, they're felt lined, and even on the inside, these, very warm. Also has it on the inside of these pockets, so if you're like kneeling down for a trap and your hands are cold, you can put your hands in there. So. I do like that. The other thing it has is just the extra cuff on the hands, which I like. You're able to tuck your gloves in much more to protect from that wind coming in. Another thing it has is the Velcro up the zipper so you can block any wind from coming in. Oh, didn't even notice this one. Also has a tightener on the bottom to tighten around, but I really like how it drops down and really covers the whole back end. That's nice for wind and sitting on the snowmobile, um, so nothing comes up in the back. Another thing is the felt lined hood is really nice. It's real warm and it also has a pulley so you can close the hood around yourself. Um, they also sent me the hat, which this is super warm. I slept with it on last night. It was great. The bibs have Velcro with zipper pockets, and they have the zipper that goes all the way down. Now, this is the best part. I will say right here, this is real loose. So these are both small, small jacket, small bib. So uh, I should probably do extra small bib and small jacket. The jacket fits great. I'm not worried about it because I do wear bulkier stuff underneath, so there's like a lot of stretch room. And you'll see that the bibs come together right here, so it holds you here. So this is the best part, which I've used multiple times on this trip. So you rip off the sides, and then you, I like to undo two of these, zip that down, zip that down. And now, ladies, we can go pee. So I take it like this, drop the drawers, and you can pee, which is great for sleeping in the ice shack. I keep a bucket, which I don't care what anyone thinks about it. I'm a woman, and nobody wants to come outside in this in the middle of the night and go pee. So I just pee in a bucket and dump it, and. It's been great just to do this and not have to take off everything. Another thing I want to talk about is the pattern on it. I don't want to forget about that. So this is like a taco kind of pattern that I really like. Um, and then the color, I'm real big into like greens and teals and blues. It's kind of my thing. So uh, I like it. One small thing, it's a me thing. It's not always a everyone thing, but I really like flared pants. I like pants that really cover my boot, and these are a little tighter around the ankle, but they don't make me less warm. The other thing is the green boots don't go with the blue, so I would have to get new boots because we're girls and we like to match. All in all, I really don't have anything bad to say about this suit at all. When doing a review, I want to be fully honest with you guys. And so I really, really don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm warm 
it's windproof it's wind waterproof and windproof and i really like tried it out yesterday when we got here to set up it was probably a good 30 mile an hour wind pushing across the lake you'll see it in the beginning of this video where we're setting up um and i just kind of like stood there and was like let me have it because I, I want to test it out. I want to know that it works. And it blocked everything from the wind. I was completely warm on the ride out on the sled. Um, I don't wear winter jackets, which I should because I live in Maine and it's freezing. But I usually wear, in my past videos, you'll see that I have my wool zip up on. And that's just a thin line. It's not insulated whatsoever. So I'll wear like um, thermal and then a sweatshirt like I'm wearing now. And then I'll have um, my wool jacket over and then my Eskimo bibs that I have. Those come up the back with the bib and up the front. So that kind of protects, but it's not extremely insulated on the Eskimo bibs. This does have a lot of wind resistant material, which I like. Another thing I actually really like about this suit is it's feminine. I mean, it's, it's slimming, but I'm warm. I don't have to look like a big mushroom it to be warm like I can run around and kick and stretch and bend down and still like take a really cute picture with my boyfriend when the sun's setting which we did last night so all in all I really do like this suit the brand is Windrider they're a family owned business um, operated out of Minnesota reached out to me asked if I wanted to try it out sent me an extra hat and a shirt um, which I can't wait to try so the next best thing about this suit that I've really looked into is the price. So obviously Eskimo is a very popular brand for ice fishermen and it, it's a great, they, the jackets, the bibs, everything with Eskimo is great, but they're expensive. My bibs, that my Eskimo bibs were like $300 that Keenan brought me. This whole suit right here was $300, like extremely affordable stuff that works. I am going to continue to wear this suit for the rest of the season. I, We've been really slacking on planning out ice fishing trips, but we will be doing more ice fishing next week. Um, so I am going to continue to wear this. I have no issues with it whatsoever. It's comfy. It's lightweight. It's breathable. It's movable. It's windproof. Um, it's waterproof. I actually did wear the jacket when it was raining the other day when I walked my dog. If you guys are interested, I will link the website down below, I'm giving you a honest review. So if you are seriously interested, check out the website down below. They have um, like rain gear as well for like spring summer fishing on top of all winter gear. They also have like the shirt they sent me is a SPF 50 like windproof shirt with the hood, long sleeve with the hood. I don't know what to call it right now, which I'm ex super excited to wear when we go on vacation uh, in a month. So you'll see that a lot more in those videos, but yeah. Thank you Windrider so much for sending me this suit. I am super appreciative and I like it. I'm very impressed. High quality, low prices, made for women. And that's something that you don't find a lot of is products made for women that fit women that are specifically in mind for women. Because being able to pee, huge, huge thing, huge thing. When I went to the pond, our first video, and I had my Eskimo bibs on, it was like the first time I had worn them ice fishing and I had to go pee and it was windy so I walked into the woods and I had to take off everything and then completely take my bibs off, completely pull them down and not pee on them. So this, that's completely sold me. Sold. So I haven't taken this hat off since yesterday. My hair's probably a wreck. I just want to show you the inside. So this like fleece line stuff is all through the pockets, which is nice. And I haven't had a winter hat in a long time because I'm me. And why buy necessity things that I need when I can just wear half-ass shit?